outdoor sculpture collection at the TMA is amazing and diverse. The sculptures are made of many different materials including painted steel, bronze, rubber, marble, glass, and granite. It takes a lot of work to keep this collection looking its best and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes to give you a peek into the world of the art conservation team here at the TMA. Taking care of outdoor sculpture is a lot like taking care of a car or a house. A little bit of regular maintenance goes a long way when you're thinking about long-term preservation. Today we're going to focus specifically on the maintenance of our bronze sculptures. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. It's quite versatile because it's relatively easy to cast and the surface appearance can be altered with chemical patinas to achieve different colors and textures. When it's exposed to the environment for any length of time, the metal can begin to corrode. This corrosion not only affects the appearance of the sculpture, but it can also shorten the lifespan of the artwork. Just like wax on your car, protective wax coatings can be applied to outdoor bronzes. These coatings act as a barrier to air, humidity, snow, rain, sleet, and other tough weather events that Toledo experiences annually. It really serves as a sacrificial coating, taking the beating that would otherwise be dealt to the sculpture. Here at the TMA, Suzanne Hargrove, Head of Conservation, is responsible for the care of the outdoor bronzes, which are rewaxed annually by Suzanne, Conservation Technician Jeff Boyer, and the Conservation Interns, which this year are Williams Shelley, myself, Grace Miner, and Marissa Stevenson. To begin, all of the sculptures receive a thorough examination to document their condition. We observe and record the current status and add any new problems requiring additional treatment. If there are no problems, the sculptures are washed with a mild detergent and water. This allows us to remove loose dirt and insect nests and to prepare the surface for the wax application. They are allowed to dry and then the waxing begins. Here at the TMA we employ two different waxing processes. The first is what is called a cold wax. Cold waxes are often natural waxes without silicone and are, you guessed it, applied without heating the surface of the bronze. Cold waxes are used on bronzes that are heat sensitive or in some cases because of an artist's request. We use soft natural bristle brushes to apply the wax and it is then buffed to achieve an even coating. The second type of waxing we use is called hot waxing. In hot waxing, the bronze is warmed with a propane torch before the wax is applied. Warming the surface of the sculpture serves several purposes. First, any residual water is driven out of the sculpture. Heating the sculpture also allows the harder microcrystalline wax blend to melt and spread evenly across the surface and to penetrate small interstices. Hot waxes often provide better protection than cold waxes. When waxing, it's really important to achieve an even and complete coating because any portion of the metal that's left uncovered will corrode quickly and preferentially. The wax is allowed to dry and the metal is allowed to cool. Then we use soft rags and brushes to buff the surfaces to a shine. After proper waxing, water will beat up on the surfaces. The coatings last about a year and then the process gets repeated. The care of the outdoor bronze collection is certainly labor intensive, but it allows us to preserve our amazing sculptures, hopefully for many generations to come.